So this is our automatic cat food dispenser. This is a limit switch. So when the food is too low, it's going to send an email. Uh, this is to adjust the quantity of food. Endless screw on a shaft. It's a, it's a spring. We solder a spring. A spring that we cut in half and we solder everything and same thing on the other side so you can see here there you go all right so here is our cam with uh, with a tiny roller switch this counts how many turns so for two cups of food we counted six clicks if you want this is a tiny 10 rpm motor 12 volt motor we got from ebay i think it was uh, 10 dollars or 12 dollars this is the switch for the low food level So this is going to be for two cats. There's a system that verify also that the food has been delivered. It logs also into the security system because it's controlled with an HAI OmniPro 2. Relay boards. And that relay board is an RS485 relay. It receives a command from the uh, Omni Pro 2 controller and here here is part of the programming this is all the logic for the cat food dispenser so it's going to distribute uh, two cups at 6 a.m. so it puts the cam count at 6 and also at uh, noon, 5 p.m., 8 p.m., it is going to distribute one cup. So it puts the cam count at three. And once the count has reached zero, it's going to stop, send the command to the RS-485 relay to stop the motor. There's also a watchdog that verify that the command have been executed if comments are not executed, we're going to receive an email saying to verify either the motor or the cam or the battery because uh, the system can distribute food even when there is no power. So we have the battery there. I need to terminate all the connection and everything. This is for these eight relays are for the uh, irrigation system. And these two really the the one in the bottom is for the cat food dispenser the second one on top is not used at the moment so it's automated uh, four times a day and also when we go into buttons so we can force one portion or one cup of food or we can force two cup and the reset distribution is when the watchdog detect a problem in order to reset the system we need to press that button and try it again so now if i press like one cup so we just distributed one cup so this is one cup again Two cups, right? One. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. So this is how the system works. So this switch here is connected to a zone input on the security system. 
each time the zone open and close, I modify the variable. And when the variable reach zero, I send the command to stop the motor. Here it's going to be completely closed. The girls are still designing uh, drawings on the faceplate here. So this is going to be all covered with a top here. So we can put a lot of food. This is what it looks like uh, when it's all closed. Our goal was to be able to put a 20 pound bag on, on both sides, which fits perfectly. So on the phone, we're going to choose to override two cups. Pretty much the same quantity, a little bit more on the right, but uh, not much. So this is two cups again. We have an event. And each time cat food is delivered, we know which date at what time. So, yeah, so now this is was this was uh, manually, but uh, like I already said, uh, food is being uh, distributed four times a day at fixed time. So this is our cat food dispenser.